Yo guys, this is Orbit here, TGN. In this video, we're going to be going over whether the Imperial Edition of Elder Scrolls Online is worth your extra money. Now, obviously, if you're getting the very expensive Imperial version, the one that comes with the book, the map, the statue, that kind of stuff, obviously, you're a massive fan of the Elder Scrolls, and you that's why you'd be paying your extra money. So we're going to be going over mainly the digital version, whether you'd go for the normal version of um, Elder Scrolls Online or the digital Imperial version of um, Elder Scrolls Online. So firstly, the main kind of drawing point is this playing as the Imperial race and it lets you play the Imperial race in any alliance. That was kind of the big selling point there. You could play the Imperials in any race. However, when you pre-order the game, you can pick any race anyway and in any alliance so that kind of like almost the imperials aren't as special anymore because we could play any race at all or any 10 of the races we can play in any of the alliances if we pre-order this game so that being said the Imperials aren't special anymore and they're just an extra race on the end of the nine that we already have. So if you are not planning on playing as an Imperial, that's kind of like useless. That, you know, being able to play as an Imperial in any alliance that doesn't really make any difference. It might as well say play as an Orc in any alliance or whatever else. So there's that. Next we've got the White Imperial Horse which we get to buy at one gold. This is very handy at the start of the game because you we haven't got much gold and we can pick up the horse straight away, go through our journey a little bit faster and whatever else. Um, however the White Imperial Horse stats are the same stats as the cheapest horse, cheapest buyable horse in the game anyway. So uh, the stats aren't great and when you kind of level up you know top level end game content you're going to be buying the better horse anyway so even if you was to get this you was to start off with the white imperial horse it's handy at the early stages of the game but later on we're, we're going to probably you know let this horse loose and get a brand new ho a faster horse anyway a better horse with more capabilities so there's that then you've got the um the mud crab vanity pet now, the, the, in my opinion, in my experiences with, with stuff like this, you'll get the vanity pet. It'll be really, really cool, like the first day. It'll be cool the second day, and then you know, it's, you it, you won't even see these in, in in a couple of weeks. And you know, a few months down the line, you might pull it out. Hey, look what I've you know remember this, and then put it back away. So the vanity pets um, are just kind of like not my I, I don't know it might be your thing okay but there's the vanity pet that they've got in the imperial vision um, edition as well and the last thing is the rings of mara again these are kind of very very good where you're leveling up you get to perform the ritual and you and a buddy get to um, gain more experience points um, when you're playing together and again top end i don't think that's going to be very useful so they that's that all of this stuff you need to take into consideration and if i'm saying um is the imperial digital version worth it yes or no my answer to that question is if you're playing an, if you plan to play an imperial race yes if you don't plan on playing an imperial race no don't worry about getting the Imperial ver ver Edition, just get the Normal Edition. You can later upgrade to the Imperial Edition if you did want to uh, play the Imperial Race or get any of the benefits at a later time, but just start off with the Normal Version. It's still got everything in there. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and like, comment, subscribe.